Shadzian 2 is here and it is looking very cool. It fixes the two biggest complaints that people have had about Shadzian. The first one being that all apps have started to look the same, and the second one that it uses Radix UI components, which have largely been abandoned. So let's just jump straight in, see what's new and why it's powerful. The first big change is best visualized on the documentation. Up here, there is a new new project button. And when we click on this, we're taken to a Shadzien customizer. This lets you customize everything now, not just Tailwind classes. But you can now pick your component library, your base color, your themes, your icons, fonts, everything like that, and hopefully build out an app that looks unique. On the left here, you can scroll and see all of the Shadzien components. So we can see how our options are going to change the look of them. We even have things like our menu. And on the right, we actually have our customization options. You can see there are a few presets still, so you get a nice starting point for various different themes. Personally, I really like this monospace look that we've got going, so I'm going to leave it on this one for now. Then we can also choose our component library. Now, this is the second feature that I think is really cool. We can now use Base UI. If you haven't heard of Base UI before, it's essentially the spiritual successor to Radix. You can see it's actually from the creators of Radix, and most of the team have moved over here now, and even from the creators of Floating UI and Material UI as well. They're essentially just the headless components like Radix, where we get great accessibility. We click into components here, you can see they have all of them to get you covered. So I highly recommend checking out Base UI if you're building out your own component library. Back to the customizer though, I'm going to select base UI. As I just said, I really like these components now. And our next choice is for the style. The style essentially just changes the margins and the paddings. You can see the Vega look here is essentially the classic Shadzien UI look. Then we have the reduced padding and margins look. We have Maya, which is soft and rounded and generous spacing look. Lyra is boxy and sharp, which I just had it on. And also Myra down here, which is compact and for dense interfaces. I'll leave this on Lyra. Our next choice is our base color. We can choose between neutral, stone, zinc, and gray. Now, neutral and stone, there's a very subtle change there. I'm not sure if that will come across on the video. But firstly, I'm going to leave this on neutral as I think it works best with most themes. You can also switch it to light mode as here. So a warning, there's going to be a bit of a flashbang here when I switch this to light mode. So sorry if that just blinded you. Let's just change this back to dark mode really quickly as that looks much better. After this, we can then choose our theme. This is essentially the primary color. You can see you've got loads of inbuilt options here, but obviously you can come and customize this later in the CSS as well. This is essentially just a good starting point. You're not limited to just the options that we're seeing here. That is the great thing about Shadzien. I'm gonna leave this on pink as I think this is a really nice bold look. You can see how it looks on the radio and the checkbox here. I just think it looks very cool. After that, we can then choose our icon library. We have Lucid icons, Tabler icons, Huge icons, and Phosphor. Personally, I'm going to leave this on Tabler icons. Then we have our font choices. We've got Inter, Noto Sans, loads of other popular ones, but I'm going to leave that on the JetBrains Mono one. Now, it is interesting that Geist isn't in here when Chatien, I believe, works for Vassell, and Geist is their favorite font, usually the one they use instead of Inter. So I'm curious why that's not on there, but we'll leave that on JetBrains Mono anyway. Then you can choose your border radius. Since I want this sort of boxy look, I'm going to leave this on default and choose from my style. You could obviously set this to large as well if you want rounded buttons. After that, you have a few more choices for your menu color, your menu accent, and also a nice shuffle button. If I open this up in a new tab so I don't overwrite the options that I just selected, I highly recommend using the shuffle button if you just want some inspiration on what your site should look like. You can see you can click through it loads of times, see loads of different combinations, then you can just pick and choose from the styles that you like. Back to my nice pink theme though, once you're done actually customizing the options and you have a style that you like, all you need to do is click create project. This will give you a command to start a Shadzien project in either Next.js, Tan, Stack, Star, or V that's going to have those styles applied. Now, I don't see a way to actually apply these to an existing project, but I imagine all you need to do is just start a new project then copy over the Shadzien files from that and the style will be applied there. So that's possibly a way that you can migrate to Shadzien V2 if you're already currently on V1. I'm going to leave this on Tan, Stack, Star, and Bun, copy the command and see what we get. When we run the command, you can see it starts a new TanStack start project and then also installs Shadzien. Taking a look at the project in the editor, it's a basic TanStack start application. We have our components.json here, which is essentially our Shadzien configuration. Then in source here, it actually installs a few of the Shadzien components for us. So we have loads of them installed here. And as I said, what I really like is it's now using base UI. That is absolutely awesome. There's also a component example here, which essentially just uses a load of these and looks similar to the Shadzien customizer. So when we actually run the application, this is that component example that we just saw. So it's a nice boilerplate starting point. You can see the style here looks exactly like we had set up in that Shadzien customizer. So now we can build our application with some really nice styling super easily.
So the customizer and the new base UI components are absolutely awesome. There's so much work in the CLI there that makes sure you can have all of those different combinations and you still own the code for it. But the final thing that I want to show you is why I think Shadzien is super powerful. Take a look at this mock financial dashboard that I made with Shadzien. I think this looks really nice. You can see we have some very nice charts. All of the components look really nicely styled and everything just works very well as the components are using base UI as their core. Now take a look at this financial dashboard. In my opinion, it does not look anywhere near as good. It's using these classic AI gradients. We've got some issues going on over here with the charts and just in general, it looks worse than the one that I had before. But here's the secret. Both of these were both fully vibe coded. I did not write a single line of code in any of those applications. All I did for the first one was ask for a modern personal finance management dashboard, but I gave it no Shadzian components as a starting point, just simply a tan stack star app. And for the second one, all I did was say use only Shadzian components. Shadzian has already been set up from that nice pink theme that I selected earlier, and you can see the results speak for themselves. Shadzian is perfect for AI coding. A, you get the code in your own project, so AI can actually understand what those components are doing and how to modify them if needed. And because most of it is using either base UI or Radix under the hood, you know you're always going to have great accessibility built in and the core features are still going to work. If you want vibe coding to actually look good, start out on that Shadzien customizer and then prompt from there. So there we go, that is Shadzien 2. It has a new customizer and also base UI components. I'm really curious how you've got on with Shadzien customizers in the past. I know Tweaksien is a very popular one and I've actually used it in the past. But obviously it did have less customizability options than the one that Shadzien has just released. And the one that Shadzien has just released is obviously probably going to work a little bit better in some cases since it is the built-in one. Let me know in the comments down below if you're excited about Shadzien 2. While you're there, subscribe. And as always, see you in the next one.